Hi, my name is Nick, the lead developer at Block Visibility. In this short video, I'm going to walk you through how the plugin works and how you can use it to conditionally display blocks on your website. All right, so here we have a demo site and we have this banner across the middle that's indicating that the offices are open for this uh, fake agency and to give them a call. We only want this piece of content, this block, to be visible when the, when the office is actually open. And we want to hide it when it's not. So I'm going to show you through this example how you can use block visibility to do this. So we're going to go into edit page and of course I have block visibility installed and you can install block visibility from the WordPress plugin repository. Note that I also have the premium add-on also installed. Um, so there are going to be some features that I'll point out that are only available to pro users, um, but I did want to showcase all the functionality that's available um, for the, the both the free version and the paid add-on. So here we are, here we have our group block that has the, the banner for when the office is open and in the, in the, in the phone number. So here we have our visibility panel. And when you open this up, you will uh, see all the different visibility settings. So one thing to point out, point out right off the bat is that visibility presets is a pro feature, so you can kind of ignore that. I won't be covering presets in this video. But as you scroll down, you will see this panel that has all of the available controls. And a visibility control is basically the rule in which tells WordPress to either show the block or not. So as we scroll down here, we see that there's the there's a couple defaults already installed for us or activated for us. We have date and time, user role, and screen size. So when you first install block visibility, those are going to be the three default controls. But if you click on this little I, you can see all the other controls that are available. Again, some of these are only available to pro users. Um, but for free, we have date and time, query string, screen size, user role. The rest of them are included with Pro. And then also for free, we have Advanced Custom Fields and WP Fusion. Uh, Easy Digital Downloads and WooCommerce are both Pro, uh, require Pro. So I am only interested in the date and time option because I want to schedule when this banner is open. Or, sorry, is displayed. And you can do that here with scheduling. Now in this demo, we're gonna be using a pro feature and the pro feature is time of day and day of the week. So the free version comes with scheduling, so standard scheduling, which is very useful if you're running a marketing campaign or you know, running an event, you can schedule when something, you, know, you can have your banner advertising your event and then you can set it to hide whenever your event is over. So automatically the banner will just hide on your website. You don't have to worry about it. But here we're gonna use a scheduling plus uh, some pro features to do day of the week and time of day. So I only wanna show this banner. Let's say that I only wanna have this up there until the end of the year, just for argument's sake, Let's do the 31st. And then I only want to show this prompt for users to call Monday through Friday and let's say let's pretend that the office is open from 9 to 5 p.m. so and then when you click off so here we're editing the block and when you click to a different block you'll notice that there's a little icon indicating that there is some visibility settings applied to this block so I'm going to show you how this works. So let's pretend we just wanted to hide this block. Instead of using the date and time, we just wanted to straight up hide it, uh, which can be useful if you're trying to manage content. Um, when you do that, you'll get another little indicator indicating that, oh, it's hidden. Um, so there's different indicators for the different controls that you're using. And then if you have multiple controls, turn this back on. Let's pretend that we only want to show this to, we'll re-enable the, uh, user role and let's pretend we only want to show this to uh, people that are not logged into the website so logged out users so if you have multiple controls and here so here we have date and time and user role that means that both of these conditions need to apply and need to be satisfied in order for the block to be visible and then when I click off again 
you'll see now that it's showing me that I have two conditions enabled. So the conditional indicators are very helpful to show you because if, if you use this a lot and you're using uh, different indicators all over the place, uh, the conditional indicators help kind of key you into the fact, oh, this is being controlled by block visibility. So again, we applied that to a group block, but as you come down, maybe we wanted to, oh, I don't know, how about uh, on a button here, for example. So well, I want to control the visibility on a button. Now you'll notice here, and I did this purposefully, that you don't see the visibility settings. Now, by default, block visibility can be Sorry, by default, block visibility is restricted to parent block types. So the button is actually an inner block of the buttons block. So if you go to the buttons block, you'll see the visibility panel. The, bu the button itself does not have the visibility panel, but that can be enabled in the plugin settings. So if we come over here to the settings, you'll see that we have the block visibility panel and we come over here And in the settings, you have the option under general settings to enable full control mode. Full control mode will enable block visibility for every block, so including inner blocks and all that kind of stuff. Settings also give you a bunch of additional fun options, like you could change the color of that conditional indicator. For example, on this demo site, I had it set to green. We can clear that back and it will return back to your normal admin color. You can also choose what default uh, controls that you want to use. So again, by default, it's date and time, screen size, and user role, but you could set that to whatever you like. I'm not going to go into all the additional settings. Again, we're using the pro version, so that's why you see this licensing, uh, and you'll see the little pro icon. Um, but the setting, make sure you check out the settings, because if you want to con configure or tailor the plugin to your needs, uh, there's a lot of settings in here that you can use to do that. So we're gonna head back to the homepage where we have our banner. Go back into edit the page. And let's just demonstrate how this works. So I didn't save it. We're gonna come back in here. We're gonna set it. Let's say that we want this to start tomorrow. So I'm not even going to use the pro settings. I'm just going to use the default scheduling functionality that is included with block uh, visibility, the free version. And so I want this to show up starting tomorrow. So today's the 28th. And if I update this, and then we go back to preview, there we go. We can see that it's gone. To double check that this works, we can turn it back to starting today. Update. And voila, our banner is back. So that was a kind of a whirlwind tour of how block visibility works, including some of the pro features that are available. I hope this gave you a taste of uh, just how powerful this plugin can be, and maybe some ideas about how you could use it on your own website. If you're looking for more information, please check out blockvisibilitywp.com. It's a bunch of additional tutorials, and there's deep information on all the different controls that are available, how they work, and how you can use them. Thanks for watching and thank you for your interest in block visibility.